having trouble with this SD card. I'm gonna have to try and format it. I don't know how to format it uh, with this phone, so I'll have to do that later. <laughs> Hopefully this records. I lost a bunch of footage last night uh, and the card, I guess. Maybe I'll chuck the card. So, right now I'm on my way over to Heidi's, see the girls. I talked to Suzuki today, which is actually the Nissan dealership. Is it Nissan? Nissan. Yeah. The Nissan. No, it's not the Nissan. It's the Mitsubishi dealership. It's crazy. Uh, so the Mitsubishi dealership is the, are the people that look after the Suzuki warranties and, and whatnot. So, uh, talked to them today about my seat, uh, the car with the airbag light on it. And they, uh, said, bring it in. Yep. It's, it's covered under, uh, it's, they're not calling it a recall. They're calling it something else. And, and I want to say an amnesty, but uh, it's not an amnesty. I can't remember the exact word she used. But anyways, they're replacing seats for free <laughs> if people want, and which is pretty much a recall. I ordered my brakes last night. Uh, I got an email from them. They want a little more information, like the, the model number and all that stuff. So I'll send that to them as soon as I get to Heidi's and uh, they'll send out the brakes. If I get the brakes uh, by the weekend, I'll pop them on on the weekend. When calling around uh, looking for a bumper skin, haven't had any success yet uh, of the prices that I want to pay anyways. I found them for about $350 plus tax, which brings it to near 400 So. I'm going to uh, maybe just patch up the bumper that, as it is now. Let's see, unless I can find a, one at the scrapyard. Gee, I've got to call those guys when I get in. I pop out to the scrapyard, but it's starting to rain right now. Have you ever been in a scrapyard or a junkyard? It's not a nice place in the rain and wet. It's a slippery mess. Canadian tire with the battery. Uh, it's testing. Well, I got my new battery. So I can put that in when we get home. I won't put it in right away, I don't think. But anyways, got it. Got oil to do an oil change, filter, and I bought a new funnel, a bigger one. This is interesting. Caution, low visibility, reduce speed. It's all because of this manhole that's blowing off steam. The car was just engulfed. That steam coming out of the manhole covers is uh, it's from the uh, steam heating uh, that uh, heats the hospital and up here. There's uh, pipes that go under the road here that uh, are full of high pressure steam. And that's one of the blow off spots. So I guess there's too much pressure. It's been happening for about a week now, but that sign's been there. Since I'm home, got the battery. I'm gonna put the battery in. Buddy was over and assessed the car, or, uh, what do you do? The appraiser came by, appraised the car, he appraised it for the purchase price, which is great. Now I can go put it in, uh, transfer the ownership, and only pay tax on the purchase price, rather than the $3,500 or $3,600. So, that's good. So I'm just going to clean up the battery post. See this gray? That's not how it's supposed to be. It's a little silvery there. It's supposed to be silvery. I'm just going to use a little uh, emery cloth while well, this is sandpaper. A little sandpaper. I'm going to put a little bit of this on it too. This is dielectric grease. 
which will protect it from uh, corrosion. That's a common thing with batteries, is the terminals corrode. So, let's get to it. I've already cleaned these terminals, so I'll just put some grease on these. What's that? Negative? Positive. I'm just going to bolt the battery box down with a battery holder. Okay, good. Got a battery in. Now we'll have power. This one won't stay. There we go. These are the bolts. Four of them, eight millimeter. There we go. This, this is for Kitty. I don't know if I'm gonna regret, regret giving this to Kitty, but I know she'll love it. Okay, so that's a seat installed. Just check to see if the car starts. I haven't checked it with the new battery. Same uh, airbag light here, or er, passenger seat belt, and then airbag light over there. Oh, well, we know it runs. Battery works. It's a big plus. So this is the kit I usually carry in my car. So obviously a socket set. It's also got some wrenches. But, uh, it works rather well. Well, I've made the executive decision. The car seat cover has got to go. It also had a wheel cover. Not nice. So I've taken them off. And consequently, I found a little hole in the seat. There's that right there. So I will, uh, I think I'll look around and see what I can find. I know I can get a, a passenger seat for $60 at the scrapyard. So I might just get a driver's seat. Uh, why not? Okay, uh, I've been cleaning it out a little bit. I've got, uh, geez, I think I'm almost up to 20 cents and change. And some of that's American pennies, so that's got to be 20 cents. But uh, I'm happy with this little thing. Starts up nice. Uh, can't figure out how to set the radio yet, but that'll come. And uh, I can send it for safety uh, as soon as I figure out what's up with the exhaust and uh, do the brakes. I've been doing a whole bunch of little things just checking over the car. I need a license plate bulb and uh, new windshield wipers just cuz and what else? I think I'm going to try and patch up the bumper. I may as well until I get a, until I get a replacement so I'll just patch it up with some uh, put some metal behind it screw it together and call it done for pop rivet or the other make get some really cool pop rivets some big fat head ones yeah be a good excuse to go to Lori's fasteners too I'll do that tomorrow looking at my wiper size online and it says driver side 26 inch, passenger side 13 or 14. Look at that. Ah. Well, we're off to drop off Jasmine's little friend Aisha, and then we're gonna go to Costco. It's an odd thing, Costco. Okay, here up, girls, get in the car. They're getting ice cream. I'm not having ice cream. We had a successful trip to Costco. As successful as it could be, I guess. I got, uh, what did I get? Windshield wipers, two of them for the new car. Got a wheel of brie, 6 
about the only real good deal there? That and the windshield wipers. That, uh, talking to Suzuki today and getting, uh, the okay just to bring it in and, and get them to read the codes and order a new seat. That's perfect. So, I've got, uh, I've got to find new key fob and keys. Yeah. And get some, uh, I want to change all the oils, all the fluids. So I picked up oil today, but I've got to get uh, transmission fluid, uh, filter, and gasket, and I'm going to change the differential oils too. So I've got to pick that up maybe tomorrow. We'll see what I get up to. Tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, I'll see if it's if it's a nice day. I might pop out to the scrapyard and see what they have out. In. Oh yeah, chance of rain, chance of rain. We'll see. High of three. Oh, thanks for watching. Push the subscribe button, the uh, little bell thing, the like thing, and uh, tell your mom. Thanks again.